Welcome to this edition of the First Aid Show. In this film, we asked a paramedic, when would the paramedics call a doctor or the air ambulance to the scene? As a paramedic, you often work on different types of vehicles. Um, very often we work on a rapid response car. That person is then used to get to scene very quickly and provide emergency first aid until there is enough um, vehicles that can come and back you up and provide support and onward transport. The rapid response cars can be also um, manned by critical care paramedics that have really enhanced skills and carry a much more broad spectrum of drugs that they can bring to help the patient. So usually in a big incident or a time critical incident, you will have a blend of somebody on a car and a van, a double staffed ambulance, a DSA, so that we can treat you and provide onward transport to the hospital. Not every single job we will arrive with lights and sirens and that depends on the answers you've given during the 999 call. But if the person is seriously ill, not breathing, their heart has stopped, you are more likely to have two, three, four resources arrive on scene because we want to throw as much as we can in that time critical period to help the patient. So there often in many parts of the country is another charity, a voluntary charity that is um, a doctor and a paramedic on a car and they're often called a basics team. And that is something that we can request through control to ask if there is the ability for a doctor to come to the scene. And they, again, they just have obviously a higher level of medical training, more, more drugs that they can administer and um, it's always reassuring to be able to bring a doctor to the scene. Again, they work in a similar fashion to the community first responders, but they're working in their um, professional capacity and they will be dispatched to scene. And again, they're often working in their own time because they know that they, they, they sort of love the fact that they can go to a pre-hospital arena and really use their skills. Um, and it stretches them in a positive way rather than Maybe their day-to-day -day work is in a hospital or in a doctor's surgery, so they do enjoy coming and joining us in the pre-hospital arena and being stretched because you don't know what you're going to see when you arrive on scene and you have to think on your feet. In the UK, we have more than 20 charities that um, operate an air ambulance service. Usually, the usual model is that you will have a doctor and you will have a critical care paramedic. So they have advanced skills, much higher than my own, and they form a team that can bring hospital skills to the patient, to the roadside, wherever the incident is. Critical care teams typically will come at the request of um, an ambulance crew on scene, they've read the scene, they've looked at the injuries or they've looked at the type of um, rhythm that your heart is in if you are having a cardiac arrest, if your heart has stopped, if there's still some electrical activity and we're able to shock the patient, there is the opportunity for us to bring critical care teams to try and help stabilise the patient. Um, and also they will go to scenes where there is multiple casualties or if there is really significant bleeding because often these services carry blood. So it's a wonderful resource and it's really reassuring to be able to call the critical care teams to come to scene. They do not always arrive by helicopter. At night often they will travel by car um, and also because they will send the nearest HEMS helicopter emer emergency medical service to the scene, you may not get your local charity comes to you. You might get one that's been at a hospital nearby and then can mobilise quickly and come to scene.